You've bought the supplies, labeled all the things, made the lunch, filled the backpack, picked out the outfit, did the hair, felt the feels, and there's one last thing to check off the list before you send them on their way. The first day of school photo. You just want one photo of them holding the sign, giving their biggest grin, and sporting that cute outfit. It should be that simple. But this task can be the most stressful part of your morning. As a photographer and mother myself, I've included some tips and encouragement to help make the first day of photo a positive memory you can look back on and smile. The first thing you want to think about is where to take the photo. Find a nice shady spot with even lighting. If shade is limited, you want to have the sun behind your child as opposed to in front. No one enjoys looking into bright lights and being told to keep their eyes open. A great way to find good lighting is by sticking your hand straight out in front of you, palm facing towards you, and study how the light falls on your hand. Next is to make sure you know your picture taking device. You don't want to spend those precious minutes you have your child ready fiddling with your phone settings. Make sure you remember to set the exposure to your child, which is done on most smartphones by simply touching the subject matter on the screen. This is very important for outside images, where your phone will try to set the exposure to the bright light outside, hiding your child in the shadows. If it's not working, get a little closer to your child or try a new spot. Posing. This is often a time where parents find themselves stuck on repeat, saying phrases like, smile nice, I just need one nice smile. Please give me one nice smile. The key to avoiding complete havoc and stress over one simple photo on the first day of school is to make it a fun experience. Okay, okay, I'm sure you're rolling your eyes right now and thinking, no kidding, Einstein. Don't worry. I have a few fun photographer hacks I use with children of all types and personality that work like a charm. Once I find something that works, I roll with it and milk it for every second of joy and laughter it gives me. Photo day is a safe, bribe-friendly day. Have your child's favorite little treat or special little gift pre-arranged and communicated. Once you have your bribe in place, the window of cooperation is typically no more than two minutes, so we have to work fast. Place your child in that perfect spot you picked out ahead of time, get that cute sign ready, and start snapping. Instead of saying cheese or smile nice, I like to use other more fun words for kids to say that still ends with that E sound. Words like say monkey, money, I love mummy. I had to try, right? Some quieter kids don't necessarily love shouting out a word. So for these kids, I try out my stand-up comedy. I'll put something silly on my head or make a goofy face and challenge them not to laugh. The more you let go and have fun with it, the better the response will be. Now for those stronger-willed children that don't really enjoy being told what to do, I personally have one of these. We play a game called Pose for Pose. I let them give me a pose or two of anything they want, then in return, they do the pose I'm hoping for. This gives them an opportunity to get their sillies out, be creative, and express themselves. Now, if we've gotten this far with no luck, I pull out my last resort. This is something that seems to get any child of any age. I'm not proud of it, but you just want one nice photo, right? Something about the phrase, who tooted, works like a charm. Yes, getting a nice photo may involve resorting to potty jokes, and that's okay. Try to make it short and only pull it out for one very last ditch effort because it won't take long before things get really silly and that's when you want to pull out that bribe and get them off the potty train joke. My final bit of advice is approach it with love and realistic expectations. You know your child best and if the perfect photo doesn't happen, that's okay too. Make memories, be silly, have some laughter together. So what if you can't read the sign, or your child's hair is a little out of place, or they are making a goofy smile? You both will be able to look back on the image fondly, and maybe you started a first day of school tradition that they will look forward to. They get to laugh, they get a little treat, and they have mom or dad's love and attention to give them that extra boost before starting a new year. Best of luck and happy snapping! Rusty would like to tell everyone to comment, like, and subscribe so we can keep posting awesome content. So comment and like! And subscribe. Oh my gosh, you're heavy.